sir. My name is my name is Jain Raji Lakshmi. My name is Ashwishwan. We are studying ninth class in Abhak State No School. We are from Prakasham district, Mumbai. We made this about global warming. First of all, we have to know what is meant by global warming. Global means surface temperature and warming means heating up. Totally global warming means heating up through the surface temperature. From this one, the radiations reach the surface through the ozone layer are of three types. That are the ultraviolet rays, infrared rays and the visible rays. Ultraviolet rays are very nice in the living organisms which are present on the earth's surface. Because if our body is directly exposed to the ultraviolet rays, the chromosome directly in our body will be dead. And it may be due to the death of the organisms. The if there are no visible rays, we can't see anything or anybody. So they are also known as light rays. Because if there is no light, we can't, we can't see anything or anybody. Infrared rays. These infrared rays and the carbon dioxide released by the factories. Carbon dioxide released by the factories, vehicles, burning of food, coal are mainly responsible for the greenhouse effect in the environment. First of all, we have to know what is meant by greenhouse effect. Greenhouse effect means the carbon dioxide present in the earth atmosphere absorbs the infrared rays which are released by the sun and keeps the earth always warm. This effect is known as greenhouse effect. As its content increases in the atmosphere, that means temperature increases, the heat increases in the atmosphere, the temperature all over the world increases. This is known as global warming. Due to that global warming, polar ice caps melt and mixed with the rivers and causing severe floods in the surrounding areas. And due to that global warming, that means due to that heat, in some areas drought conditions will occur. At a time global warming creates flood conditions, flood conditions in some areas and drought conditions in some areas. So we don't have to pollute our atmosphere. The chlorofluorohydrocarbons which are released by the aeroplanes and the refrigerators in our houses are very light in weight and ascend up into the air mixed with this ozone layer and cause and uh, dissociate it, it into free oxygen. Oxygen means two atoms of oxygen combined to form an oxygen molecule. Three atoms of oxygen, three atoms of oxygen combined to form an ozone molecule. So we don't have to pollute our atmosphere. If we pollute our atmosphere, the ozone layer will be damaged due to the chlorofluorohydrocarbon and the ultraviolet rays reach the earth directly. The ultraviolet rays that are coming from the sun passes through the ozone layer and fall directly onto the atmosphere and destroys the chromosomes and destroys the chromosomes that are present in our skin and causes skin cancer and cancer. Mm, due to these all pollutions, ozone layer is going to be decreasing. So, first ozone hole is observed in 1970 by the scientist Oppine in Antarctica, in such as pol polar regions. And this is the, the polar ice caps region or the Antarctica region. Now, due to the temperature, the thickness of the ozone needs to be decreased. It is present at a height of 16 to 23 kilometers from the Earth's surface. Yes. Finally, our conclu uh, my conclusion is to be grown plants. That means if we do afforestation, it be it is by carbon dioxide. Carbon dioxide is mainly responsible for the greenhouse effect. If there is no carbon dioxide. But we have to use so little much of carbon dioxide in our life. But due to this factories, vehicles, so much excess of carbon dioxide is illegal. And also due to uh, rise in technology, we have to invent the vehicles and factories that does not cause any pollution to the environment. And we have to invent the vehicles that does move with that does move with uh, water and hydrogen. At last, we have to take some precautions to avoid this global warming. These These two grown plants. Thank you. What's your ambition? Group one. Group one. What's your ambition? IAS. Very good. What's your name, you said? Jashwan, sir. Okay. Thank you all. Thanks.